So like once again, we're dealing with a whole bunch of notes. Uh, the GCPD called Batwoman when the executioner showed up instead of the crows. The How did they call her? The, well, they used the fucking spotlight. And that's the spotlight what, that's always on. The, the crows. Well, the, see, the crows notice it, and then he's like, "Bullshit!" Like the crows can take care. of it. Remember, they find out last. Apparently, even news stations find out before GCP. Uh, the crows do. Well, so the crows are useless. Well, so yeah. Why would they know before the news? Because they work with the GCPD. <laughs> Well, yep, okay, but they're fucking useless. You'd think the but... GCPD would have told them. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, by the way, guys, this is a fucking psychopath, but nah, fuck it. Bat would and take care of it. <laughs> but the bat signal is always on. Well, I mean, in this show it seems to be, but apparently it isn't. How can you call for Batman, Batwoman, if the signal's always on? I think we're supposed to assume it's not always on. But the whole point of the beginning episode was that they were going to turn it off, and they don't. And then in the episodes afterwards, we even they even move the bat signal so it can specifically be on. Well, then, at, at that point, I don't know what the fuck... If it's just constantly on, then yeah, how the hell did they call her? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Because they were going to make a big deal of it being turned off in the first episode. Well, then how do you picture do how it. they call her? I just assume that it's a mistake for I us to think it's always on. I'm trying to fill a hole, and I have no shovel, I have no dirt, I've got just a task that yep. can't be completed. In that hostage situation, you got the GCPD arrive, and they're taking care of it, I guess. There's oh, like yeah. one guy who's going to enter, and Jacob is like, oh, we can do, um, we can get an interrogator, and he's like, no, no, I got this. And Batwoman's in there, obviously, and, and that's... Fine, she's got stealthisms, we'll, we'll agree with that. Sophie's just in there, and she's a crow. The crows arrived after the GCPD and asked what they're going to be doing about all this, but she's already in there. I don't understand. You, th you think that a, a woman should wait for a man to tell her what she can and can't do? She is oh, a crow, no. so she should be doing crow, crow things. Um, you would think so. The crows do not seem... That's the thing. If, if the crows weren't so incredibly incompetent at everything, <laughs> who knows? Maybe they said, Sophie, just go inside and we'll <laughs> discuss things out here. And then and, there is... And then they forget. <laughs> there is also the aspect that uh, she gets shot and then she's kidnapped by Batwoman and taken to a mysterious hospital and no one gives a shit. Yeah. This is the, <laughs> this is the second time, by the way, where Batwoman has committed what you might consider basically kidnapping and unlawful restraint. Against a person who's good or innocent. Like she gives a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> They've done absolutely nothing wrong in any way. But yeah, it doesn't seem like Jacob Kane or anyone gives a shit that Sophie's missing. In the whole first episode of the series, Sophie's been kidnapped. We've got to find her. She, and, and there's even a speech that Jacob gives to all of the rest of the crows where he goes into uh, links about, if that was one of us, you know Sophie wouldn't rest until we found her. And in this episode, they, they actually don't give a shit and it's never mentioned. <laughs> um, like that there are only two significant crows like the rest of them might as well not even exist for how little it. they do anything uh for you mentioned this last time we didn't really uh flesh it out a, a bit in terms of a criticism but the doctor lady is just always there like and she even has a line for that she's like most of the time i i, I spend here it's just like bullshit you're always here whatever you needed we've seen you multiple times being somewhere else well she doesn't yeah, you, like she doesn't yeah. sleep apparently well the, in the other episode she was talking with luke for half the episode Episode, eating fucking pizza. I was like, I thought you were always at your clinic. What are you doing fucking around here talking to Luke? He was no depressed. It makes sense. Getting drunk day. Who, like, yeah, I guess who not. rents that clinic out? Like, who owns the property? Don't think about it. Maybe yes. they'll do a reveal at some point that Jacob or the evil mum knew about it the whole time and they just let it happen. <sighs> Maybe. So no eye scanner, no fingerprint check, no password, no number code or anything. No elements of the guy's personality he had to copy outside of his voice. In fact, the only thing by way of like having to get past things that were required was to sound like him and to look like him for the guy who can imitate voices and steal faces. So seems ridiculously convenient. And they don't even bother they don't even make the attempt to try and explain how he actually gets it and leaves with it no yeah that's just completely left deep. out he just shows up with it back at alice's hideout also is her gang gone dude that uh, that oh, is yeah. <laughs> that's one of those she has a thousand members of silas at the same it's schrodinger's gang she has like zero and a thousand at the same yeah, time Yeah. last last episode dodson and all of the gang members they were beaten slash killed twice in, in this episode, they or the last episode we watched, they, they weren't even here. So I guess it's just a two-man team now? It's just... <laughs> Wait, dude, Dodgson will just show back up. I'm, I'm sure of it. Yeah, whenever they need him. By the way, so if, if the scanner only scans a face, could she have, like, a 3D printout of the guy's face? Would that work? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm not saying that would be a great idea. I'm just curious about how yeah. stupid the security system is. Why not a voice scanner? You can do like all the mimicky stuff. That would have made sense. You can do voice and face now. Yeah, it's a good thing they didn't need like a password or something. It's a bit much to believe that they have a face scanner rather than an eye scanner. Like in everything you see, it's always a fucking eye scanner, but this time oh, not a face scanner. By the way, this scanner, it's not like it took like a three. It, it, it's not like the retinal scanner where the little light came out and scanned the face. It was just, it was completely optical. In so like as far as I'm where you would be able to completely just put up a photograph of his face <laughs> the camera I want it would, I need to test it would that out it didn't actually use what looked like what, or what looked like any kind of depth to it it just boop 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 click and you're in I mean, it's all it's all bullshit because like, all bullshit. his facial his facial structure isn't the same so the mask wouldn't work and his weight changes too. <laughs> she says, how are you able to overcome the ferromagnetic projectile saturation? His boss is asking this question, right? And his response is, that's proprietary information. Was that just luck? Like, like he just assumed like that's the only answer he could give because he doesn't have the information for it and he's just hoping that that would work like yes yeah because what if she was like serious like she was like well no well, then he'd be fucking shit out of luck well. <laughs> he'd be screwed i guess he just got lucky that he played it off as a joke and she went ah, ha, 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 ha. she knows that there's like a whole gang of people out there trying to infiltrate her and like take her shit and stuff like that she's aware that alice and the gang and all that stuff are out there at least she believes it but man she's just lack security i suppose luke explains that the firing squad came back under mayor cobblepot and there was a comment saying that that's not how mayors work they can't <laughs> correct just... it takes the state governor i believe to do mm -hmm. something like that and uh, the funny part is that he he felt like he should explain how the firing squad came back, but he doesn't bother explaining how the electric chair and gas chambers came back. Oh, firing squad, better explain that one. It's like, what are the other fucking two? And since we're talking about Cobblepot and everything, uh, Penguin, Commissioner Gordon is not a thing in this universe. I mean, they I killed Lucius Fox off screen. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many you Lucius Fox the fans there are, but that again, that's another one of those. Is that a good thing? <laughs> Probably merciful. But Alfred exists because of the password. I thought they both to come back at the end of the season. It's like, what? Are, what is? What's happening? What's going? What's I need. Mean, we need someone to come back and chastise Batwoman. Just be like, you're terrible. <laughs> yeah. You're pathetic. You're the worst thing that's ever happened to Gotham. We're just like, yes. <laughs> you stole all his shit. This Thank is God. another one of your standard just significant flaws uh he's he's like i'll bet he's using hydrogen cyanide and there's only one place you can get that in gotham it's like okay and he happens <laughs> he happens to be right about that and he happens to get batwoman the information in such a way that she gets to the gas just as the executioner gets to it yeah it's very very convenient that they just show up <laughs> they have that whole joke about the horny security guard but she doesn't yeah. deal with him and he disappears yeah he's just gone yeah it was an entirely pointless scene like he should have been there, <laughs> but okay. He didn't call security for Batwoman, because she's a vigilante that's gonna try to steal something, and he also didn't call it for the fucking guy who drove into the building, broke in and stole something, but okay, he's a great security guard, I don't know. Or maybe he did call them, but they were really late, fine. This is interesting, uh, just when you're editing you spot these things, but this was the license plate, as you may or may not know, folks, that they were referring to on his, his car. And they do highlight that it's a dirty license plate on the feed, and that's why they can't see it. And so, as you know, she is hit by it in her suit, and they can find the impression. It doesn't um, line up, doesn't it? Well, this is the weird thing. You sort of slow the scene down, and you're like, I'm sorry, th that's like the point of impact. I don't think that's hitting <laughs> oh. her. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Didn't even touch her, and she's like, yep, got the full license plate. It's like, oh. Yep. Didn't even touch me. The air pocket must have hit the side of the bat suit, and I could analyze the license <sighs> yeah. plate number because of the atmospheric impression it made on my fucking spirit <laughs> self. <laughs> it's... It's dumb. It, it's dumb in every way that you look at it. He's putting himself <laughs> an incredible risk by covering up his license plate like that. So when he's driving to or from the scene, it, he could get stopped by any officer. By some fucking cosmic coincidence, Sophie escapes from that hospital with the intention of telling Jacob everything. And she didn't tell him all the way up to the moment that she finally decides to. And she walks in on him having a discussion with Kate where they hug and cry. <laughs> what was she Lucky doing? <laughs> I guess I'll change my mind about telling you that your daughter. The, the, I I won't tell you that your daughter is Batwoman. <laughs> You're having a moment. I won't ruin that. Yeah, I don't want it. This is more. This is the CW. Your emotionalism is far more important than you know mm. things like the truth. But seriously, what was she doing when she came back? She had like a suit on and everything. She didn't even have her combat gear on anymore. Yeah, I, I guess so she, she went home. Back, no one cared. Changed. She had a shower. 
went home, had some breakfast. That's the crazy thing. They, they must be like, yeah, we found blood at the scene and, and you were supposed <laughs> to be inside the building and you were gone. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, what is happening? I, I don't want to spend too long on this. I just have to highlight it again. The, the fact that the executioner had to die in the courtroom for his plan to work. <laughs> What the yeah. fuck? Like, it's so... I guess he could have done it manually, but then he'd be inside, so... And then it wouldn't match thematically anyway. for his whole plan, though. The whole... Because yeah. axe murdering is not, like, one of the three main execution things. It's just like, okay. Also, his whole thing is, like, it's terrible that I have to kill innocents, right? Fucking doesn't have a problem trying to kill Batwoman. Well, right? she's defending she the guilty, so she's guilty, too. I, I guess... But then he's like, if I die, everyone in this room dies too. Innocent oh yeah, that's... it's like, man, your whole your whole thing was to make sure that the innocent don't get punished, and you just have no fucking problem with well, the dead man switch to ensure that about... everyone in this room dies. He asked for a specific interrogator or whatever, and that's why that guy went in. And it, it worked. What if they were like, no, just send you know, send Billy Bob. He can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and Billy Bob is fucking murdered by the the things. The guy would probably be like, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> like, the interrogator was sick, or like got caught in traffic, term. or stubbed his toe. Yeah, it's just like, ah, sorry guys, I can't make it. I'm like, oh, I'm just really tired today. <laughs> so yeah, the the victims being brown, black, and poor. I guess the implication was that they're taking the fall for other people. Is that is that the point there? No, it's they they hate minorities and yeah. they hate the blacks. These people hate black people. Yeah, but they're getting framed for th the actual crimes that happen, right? That's what's actually... Ha the, the, I assume that's what was either, happening. Either framed... I, I guess? Like it's so not just some random they, thing where they just... <laughs> they go around framing black people for stuff. I mean, like, like, it's weird because they know what the crime stats are. You don't have to frame... It's, uh... It's like, like that episode of South Park where... Uh, Michael Jackson moves into town, and the cops are just like, "Oh, there's a rich black guy in town, so let's frame him." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to get him. <laughs> and yeah, just the, the the standard like, why did Batwoman take Sophie to that hospital when the crows were like right outside that they could have? <laughs> so just weird. And if you were like, "Oh, well, she's doing it to protect her identity," it's like that didn't fucking no, whatever. How did Batwoman transport her? I don't know. How and also, I just thought that her. if she was doing it to protect her identity, that would be very poor as a commentary on her character. What's more important is my identity, not your life, person that yeah. I love. Person <laughs> that I love. Yeah. So this is this we got some scientisms that hydrogen cyanide seems ridiculous from a scientific perspective. Here's why. So number one, think cyanide, it burns. Uh, just because you have hydrogen in something doesn't mean automatically that it burns. Think water. Yeah, like water. That being said, hydrogen cyanide is indeed flammable, so I guess Luke got lucky. Secondly, uh, they're not surviving this. Uh, the chemical reaction for it burning in the air is as follows. There's a compound or, or formula or whatever. This means that burning four parts of hydrogen cyanide requires five parts of oxygen, and the burn results in four parts of CO2, two parts of water, and two parts of nitrogen. What this means is if you burn the entire room filled with hydrogen cyanide at six percent you've accomplished in doing the following increase co2 concentration to six percent co2 is toxic to humans at five and reduce the concentration of o2 in the room by six percent which even if we assume the room started off at 21 percent oxygen despite the hydrogen increase that reduces the o2 content of the room to 13.5 which is way below 19 which is necessary for human breathing so after the burn they're in a closed room with an unbreathable atmosphere awesome very effective uh three of course this all ignores the fact that six percent concentration of hydrogen cyanide is about 300 times the lethal dose, so they're both dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason that's used in execution. No, blow it up in the room you're in. Use your, <laughs> use your cape to protect... <sighs> Producers of the show, we want someone to be electrocuted. We'll knock down a power pole, and despite drawing significant power, it won't trip a fuse or anything. The electricity will travel through a small puddle, not into the ground. Instead, traveling through a conductive metal fence in the shortest route, it will uh, instead travel through a person at high enough amperage to electrocute him, requiring a circuit of a puddle of water, a fence, a man, the same fence to do the same puddle of water. It's like it was written to be as terrible as possible. It is written like it's supposed to be terrible. I'm thinking, like, just be simpler. If he cuts down that fucking telephone pole or whatever, power pole, and just grabs the dude, like, as a surprise, and drags him over to it and just fucking puts him on it, you know? And he just goes, blah, blah, blah. Well, better like, yet, better yet, just ditch the whole electrocution shooting bullshit. <laughs> Stupid. Just, just axe murder them all. 
Yeah. yeah. Imagine you just got a taser. You walked up to him, tased him once, the guy falls over, tased him again, and then just started tasing for ages, tasing until oh, he just God. fucking dies. <laughs> Kate, when battling the executioner, says, um, she essentially appeals to the law. She says to him, like, th th we have to let these people get punished by the law. It's not perfect, but you can't, like, change it in blood or something. Like, <sighs> All this bullshit, it's just like, how could she make all these comments about not breaking the law? You literally got lucky that that Dodson, who you captured, didn't die of a leg infection in your head. <laughs> you have absolutely no fucking right to criticize anybody else for not following the law. If Jacob works outside of his jurisdiction, how is he any different from a vigilante? Yeah. Good old contradiction uh, there. Uh-oh. Maybe that'll be his arc. <laughs> It's like, shit, I'm, I'm the idiot. He's like, shit, police are bad. You're like, J Jacob, no, J uh. <laughs> I will be the next Batman. It's like, no. <laughs> so apparently Evil Stepmom's company knows what the bat suit is made of, and they take it as an achievement to research ways to kill, not incapacitate, but kill the only vigilante that's actually trying to fix the city. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to think about all of that. I think we need more information because it seems utterly bizarre. I mean, why is she trying to kill the one person who's trying to stop the person who wants to kill her? It's <laughs> odd. Makes no sense. <laughs> So this one's interesting uh, for Rags, actually, and they, they said that oh. they, they didn't know if Rags responded to this or not. I don't think you did, but it's because you didn't pick it up because there was so much fucking stupid shit happening at the same time. So <laughs> when she brings Sophie in, she says, what was she shot with? Hollow point? Blackout? Wad cutter? And it says, uh, the first and last are variations of the same ammo type. You can have 45 to 70 hollow points or wad cutters, but you can't have a blackout. As far as I can tell, blackout only refers to the .300 blackout, which is popular for AR-15 up and the blackout can have hollow points. Mm -hmm. JHP, ammo piercing, etc. The question is dumb. Get a better show. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. 300 blackout is essentially, it uses a, it's really expensive by the way. I don't have any. I have no interest in it. But it essentially is a bullet that uses 556 five, casings. So they work in ARs and stuff. Or at least like AR mags and things like that. You just need a new upper and a barrel. They use the same brass. It's just a different, it's a larger, stubbier caliber. And this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about, right? We knew something was wrong with that line. We knew something was wrong with the fucking chemistry of that room. We knew there's wrong, some things wrong with the security in that building. These are all like specialized areas that when you're making a show like this, there are ways to access people who have this information that can tell you how this works. They can yeah, probably tell you them. how to get the solutions as well. Like, say for example, you said a room is filling up with um, hydrogen cyanide. Talk to a fucking scientist and they might be able to tell you how someone could escape that for real, rather than bullshit. I think, I guess, talking about the last question, they mentioned wad cutters. Do you guys know what those are? No nope. idea. A wad cutter, it, it's, it's a very rare term. It doesn't pop up much at all. But a wad cutter is a, essentially a bullet that has a flat front. And the reason that it has a flat front is that it shows up easier when you shoot at paper targets. So it's easier for you to see where the bullet hit. It's basically just for target shooting at paper. Oh, so it's very odd that she would. It's it's very it. It's extremely interesting how a doctor in apparently a high crime city would not go. Chances are, if you're shot, it's going to be with a 22. After that, probably nine millimeter, 38 special, something like that. Why one of her four suggestions would be wad cutter is very strange. It was only three suggestions. It was um, hollow point, wad cutter, hollow and blackout. Black. Uh, yeah, it, hollow points can be a variety of different calibers. It's it's very odd. I think they wanted her to sound smart, but <laughs> while also having Batwoman say it doesn't does it matter or whatever. And it's just like oh Jesus Christ, why is everyone like so it stupid? Does yeah. Like, um, well, that's the thing. I don't know fuck all about guns, but I know that matters. Like, are you kidding? Come on. It's not it's not a bad round for like self defense and stuff, but it's just a very specialized kind of you have to go out of your way to buy them. Like if you found out someone was hit by that, you'd be like, Wow, that's what they yeah, use. Like, wow, that's interesting. It's weird that somebody would be shot with a gun loaded with rounds that were specifically designed for shooting paper targets. Yeah, that seems a bit odd. The show is stupid. Yeah. It's either they wanted her to sound smart. Or there was like some random person on the team is like, oh, use that one. Nobody knows what that is, and it sounds great. I just find it fascinating that uh, all of those put together. We even we even commented on the fucking how how uh, executions are put into practice or not as well. Like so mayoral duties and stuff. And I just I just find it interesting that we can as laymen highlight all of these things when we don't even know the specifics, or at least before having a quick Google or talking to someone who knows about it. And I'm just like, these are the kind of things that. 
make writing hard, but not impossible. Yeah. Like, this is the challenge. You're supposed to be like, right, my character is a lawyer, I need to go find out about how law fucking works. And, and they I just don't I'll give a shit. That, <laughs> I got to say for people who would do want to comment, a wad cutter will fuck you up. It's a pretty venerable piece of ammo for self-defense, you know, because it's a blunt tip. It'll, it could really fuck you up. Mm -hmm. um but it's just it's really strange it's a very odd kind of i'm, not, I'm definitely not saying they, they will fucking they will they'll get you kilt when they if they hit you they're just strange but yeah that does it for our our notes our catch up for the previous episode which leads us to yeah, the new uh, one can, is... can we can we can we mention quickly how retarded it is that she always turns on and off her voice modulator thingy just keep, keep it, it on, on all the time. she only turns it on for people she's met in real life yeah, how fucking it on. retarded is that? I'm so stupid. <laughs> Previously on Batwoman. Oh, yes, remind me. Oh, no, the face. Don't show <laughs> this, no. To read the report. Get away from me. And that's all they've done, by the way, is he said, get away from me. That should have been major. She yeah, took away his daughter, like... technically. Yeah. Sister. Oh, look, it's the one scene that was good. <laughs> prowling, hunting, hiding. <laughs> and you did it in secret. I hate being in her head. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> her, her thoughts are so fucking clunky. <laughs> Pizza and the wine. We oh my goodness. Black men. All right. Calm she down, did she oh, man, they're here. Wow. Yeah, the, the quick response. Good job, guys. I'll circle around back. You heard her. Move out. You heard her. Move out. She, she's a duty again. Like no one cares about their injuries in this series. Yeah. Yeah, she's fine. Did you ever let yourself trust anyone? Kate. Oh, really? How did that work out. For you? <laughs> what? Where are you going? He needs to know you're his daughter. You have the wrong girl. He's so <laughs> convincing. <laughs> him, I will. What? Oh, fucking wow. hell. <laughs> God. <laughs> wow, I like how she just stopped. She doesn't go over the top. Wow. Dude, how fast she went up there, that would break her fucking arm. The rifles made his way to Gotham. What? Wait, did he not get captured by all the guys? How were they he, even there? I guess he escaped. So. Did he? Did Bat, Batwoman just After left. Killing, sources say Batwoman thwarted his attack at Alessandro's last night. How could they I'm possibly, how could they possibly know? know? Yeah. Did you know she just get credit whenever the police didn't do it? How do they know Alessandro's Batwoman did it? Did, did, did Sophie tell it? everyone Batwoman did it? Yeah, there's no way Jacob would want them to spread that. Oh God, what is this? <laughs> It's hey. shadow boxing. <laughs> oh, it looks so terrible. It's such a body double. Are you okay? <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! Stop! What, what for fuck's sake! <laughs> I was up analyzing the list. <laughs> back lever, please. Back lever. Back lever. Back lever. She's threatening to tell my dad. He's gonna freak out and shut us down. Shut her? How could his dad shut? How? Uh, yeah. How is he gonna shut you down? What's he gonna do? Put you in jail? Yeah. No proof. You oh my goodness. Go under the radar. Fully clothed sex. That's the, the way to go. No, they're just getting ready for sex. This is pre sex. Oh, okay. Convince the hell out of her not to tell your dad who you are. That's the conclusion he gives it. Convince her not to tell on you. Oh, okay. Hey. Hello. We're married. Have you seen him? <laughs> oh shit, this character. I forgot about this guy. I wonder if he was concerned about his thing? wife just disappearing for- nope. No, 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 he nope. wouldn't give a shit. I thought you said Batwoman took off before you could talk to her. She did. Is she not aware of security footage? Well, well done, Sophie. Good job. I like how they just blatantly ignored the cameras at the beginning in the first episode and those like cameras every goddamn episode. <laughs> yeah. Tyler's gonna turn out to be a Batman and she's gonna leave him. Tyler might be killed, I think, as well. Yeah. There's a chance of that. Kate and I have finally started to have a connection after five years and now she hates me. Five years and because you of you. Bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say it, don't spray it, dude. <laughs> I never heard of What am I supposed to do until then? You haven't? You're the only family <laughs> I have left. Right. Right. Mary, I have enough going on right now without another guilt trip. You are guilty, though. You are guilty. <laughs> You're a bad person. You, should be you belong in a fucking prison. Oh my god. Oh no, stop making her say that. Oh my god. She's like the worst actress I've ever seen deliver the line, oh my god. Oh my god. We need to get him before the shooter does. Heat signature 30 feet to the west. I see him too. <laughs> oh, oh wow, oh wow, wow. Oh wait, what? There's another vigilante doing- Also, why didn't the assassin take the shot there? He seemed to have it. Not doing things. Got him. 
Again? Wow. Not another step back, woman. I'll be bringing him in. Oh, it's that woman we saw earlier. Oh, he's just a fucking escaping! Oh my god, you guys suck! <laughs> That's the second time he's been completely incapacitated does... by Batwoman and just left. Unironically, Batwoman seems to want villains to escape. Just say, okay, sure, take him in. Uh, guys, the murderer is sleeping! Oh, Pennyworth. Let's sleep my father out of this. She's Alfred's oh, daughter. God. What the hell are you doing in my suit? Oh, no. <laughs> what? No, there, no, there's so many problems here. <laughs> The way that guy's looking around. Oh my goodness. Bat what a clusterfuck. And Batwoman yeah. and Blonde are both trying to save this one guy because they know that there's an assassin trying to kill him. Mm -hmm. What they don't do is they don't go to him and say, Hey, there's an assassin actively trying to kill you. You should probably lay low for a while. You know, don't walk around outside. Stay someplace safe. Don't go near any windows. Someone's trying to shoot you with the gun and kill you. So you need to be super, super careful. They don't do that. Instead, they just follow him around and hope that the assassin doesn't get him before they do. They literally okay. fight over who can save him. Yeah, so the assassin is right there and... Plain fucking sight in the parking <laughs> the lot, assassin. 30 feet away from him. He doesn't shoot the guy. How convenient. Then Blonde comes out of nowhere to stop him. Blonde tussles with assassin man and Batwoman incapacitates him by taking out his legs. Because Batwoman wants to save this guy and the assassin has been stopped, essentially. Instead of doing the good thing and going, you know what? Capturing the assassin is more important than my personal glory. You go ahead and take him in. In fact, I will be happy to assist you. Because you're a vigilante like me, and this is a deadly assassin guy trying to kill someone. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> now, they have to fight over who he gets the privilege of turning him in. Meanwhile, the assassin escapes and runs away, and there are no issues. And not only that, for the double fucking whammy, the <laughs> guy that they were trying to protect apparently doesn't get in his car and go away, or thank the people who saved him. He walks into an alley and gets himself fucking killed by skin man <laughs> so the assassin got away and the person they were trying to protect is dead and i gonna i guarantee you they're gonna have banter in this scene they're gonna banter back and forth about being vigilantes and they should be like guys you failed miserably to be fair i did teach you that move and a few others if i recall I killed two men for you. <laughs> what? Mouse, can you tell our friend here why we hired him to kill those scientists? Thank you for exposition. Because they were the only people on the planet who knew how to make that gun. Whoa. <laughs> Oh. Now it blasts oh, wow. giant Diamond. holes. Does it use any ammo at all? Is it just self-sufficient? Mm. Bruce is apparently better at keeping a secret than I am. Yeah. To be fair. Oh, oh yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> apparently. And a few others. So you lied and pretended that you had a thing for me. The only thing I lied about was why I was there. Oh, oh we still not over her then. She's married to a man. Oh, can you imagine? In 2019. Stay the hell out of my business. You brought her to the bad cave! Stay out of my business, person I brought into my business. Your dad doesn't dry heave when he sees a rainbow flag. It's oh. these degenerate sinners. Oh. Don't you tell the truth. If we lie, why are we even here? Uh, the, 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 is that a <laughs> question or are you actually retarded? Has she never had this explained to her? Man, look at the difference in their busts. First off, we're women. First off, we're women at Point Rock. You did make the sharpshooter competition, your bitch. Sophie freaking more broke Shauna Zadi's obstacle record by one second. Yeah, we're best. We're the best. We're I'm sure they're so very, best. very good, they're yes. Women are the best at everything right. physical. It's just They're a not gonna fact. expel Sophie freaking more. We're telling them the truth. What? No, because that will mean they will expel you. I don't know. I... What? They didn't take the bullet for the crime scene? <laughs> they left it in there and framed it. <laughs> Apparently it's not evidence, okay. Before I say anything, I need to know I can trust you. I can't promise you something when I don't know what it is. Sophie's a smart man. I need you to. <laughs> that guy's got his gate on. Are you the gays? We do not accept the gays in Italy. Unfortunately, sneakers are not allowed to be in the dining area. Sneakers? I'm surprised that you could see them considering they're hiding underneath our table. Oh, 
He's he's an anti-gay. He's an anti-gay. That guy right there is wearing sneakers. Maybe you would enjoy instead our lounge outside. Oh god. Wow. I want to die. Let's avoid the scene. Admit that the only thing offensive about my shoes is me. Wait, everyone pause. Oh. Everyone pause. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. First off, this scene is fucking preachy as shit. Yeah. Right. But first off, this is Kate Kane, who we learned very, very early would rather tell the truth and leave someplace because she's gay, like the Academy, than stay there. She is insisting that she is going to stay when they don't want her. It's a complete flip of what she did earlier with Sophie, the person who's there with her. What they're going for is that there's a fundamental disconnect because she's going to stand her ground and Sophie won't. That's yeah. what they're going for. Now, I know what they're trying to do, but it's, it just doesn't work because everything in this show doesn't work. She just wants him to admit that he's anti-gays. Yeah, just admit that you don't like gay people. Having women hold their hands, like, that could have literally been anything, but he immediately is like, yeah. the lesbodios, stop they're them. Lesbos. Also, it contributes fucking nothing to the show. I think the idea is that the dress code is bullshit. Yeah. Somebody else is wearing sneakers. Yeah, that's what they're trying to, like, yeah. It's he's obviously in the wrong, but it's so yeah, he obvious. clearly is. Yeah, it just it's he's such a fucking pass. stereotype. The second that it showed him looking at their hands, it's like, oh, he's an anti gay. Uh, yeah, oh, great. Yeah. It's the only thing she wears leather jackets. It's black leather yes. jackets, all she wears, pretty much. All right, well, she knows you and 3.5 million other people. <laughs> yeah, one snap from her, and she will shut this place down faster than you can say, wow. gay people make me feel uncomfortable. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, my god. <laughs> That's what it looks like when it comes out naturally. Oh, she's such a bad actress. That's what it looks like when it comes out naturally. No intention. <laughs> what went down at Point Rock was the worst day of my life. Really? Worst and Why? Love it. I was going to do everything we talked about. So what happened? You got a second opinion. Second opinion. It's going to be Tyler. Be the man. Ruined it. So. Oh. Oh, it was Jacob. Okay. This day sucks. Kate and I are going to stick together on this. I'm waiting for him to be like, maybe don't. But if you think you're going to walk out of there without signing that letter of denial and still graduate, you are in for a major disappointment. If I was Kate, then and I would I'm entirely and 100% understand why Sophie's doing this. If I don't tell the truth, it will destroy our relationship. I can't make this decision for you. It wouldn't have to destroy the relationship. Yeah, and it's plus, it's like, yeah, then we'll just get all of our honors and everything, and then we'll just Yeah, they said they go. graduate in a We're week. Right here. Like, just, just a have, week have a week of no touching each other publicly. You'll be all right. <laughs> it would be cleaner than my dad convinced you to lie. Kate is a selfish lie. prick. Yeah. The dad head. didn't actually do anything wrong there. He just yeah. gave a reality. He was just like, that's how it's yeah. going to work, by the way. Bye. <laughs> Thanks to him, I ended up serving. I made money for my family. Yeah. Yeah. I got handpicked by your dad to help lead the crew. Yeah. Yeah. And instead, you just lost me. Fine. You're a fucking cunt. Uh, I was going to say, it's not such a bad oh, exchange. Your jackets can go fuck yourself. <laughs> also, Jared this Kat. is an odd strategy I'm by Kate details, to keep so. Sophie honest. That was not what her plan was at all. Like, that had nothing to do with her actual intentions. Story time. You must have a 20 on the rifle. Spike dodging also, twice. we have to eat Cold to survive, so to if that's okay with you. I was a real estate fib going. What? I was yeah. about to say the same thing! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you have a safe room? Um, Are you <laughs> fucking kidding oh. me? <laughs> Holy shit! How did Mary get in? Carl at the front desk loves double whip frappuccinos. <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. You have two assistants who work past midnight for a real estate company without any real estate. Mary, stop pulling out plot holes. Right <laughs> Mary encompasses my soul. Yeah. yeah. We don't oh have God. technology to do that here. Actually, we can do that oh, now. Oh, so. everyone just, hey, come on. Everybody, everybody, everybody just appears, yeah. Argus. You know, I don't recall this being an open farm. Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> It's urgent. <laughs> what you got for me? This show brings me, brings me so much joy. <laughs> Sir, she's your daughter. What? 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 Kate is Batwoman. And if there's someone. <laughs> 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 it's Jake's to Jacob's fucking face. Imagine being Jacob. This whole fucking oh, show is out to get you. Everyone's I'm here. They're great. And also, Schrodinger's what is henchmen. Alice paying him with? I don't she have fucking money? know. We we addressed that in like episode no, one. Yeah. I don't know where your money comes from. Send Batwoman, my love. So she sold okay. she sold the gun to Assassin Man. And maybe it's best we just kept your distance from now on. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Like, let's just suffer through the next week and then never worry about it ever again. How about that? 
How seems, about that? It seems worth it to be set up for the rest of your life. I don't know. That's Kate's sharpshooter competition medal. I fucking know what it is, idiot. I have eyes. Do you even know how she won that? Shooting good. Guess it doesn't really matter. Does <laughs> she didn't even try. She didn't even what? Try. In fact, what? She was so hung over from tequila shots the night before, it was insane anyone- That sounds really around. irresponsible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And she still managed to be the best. Okay. Of course she yeah, was. but then she dropped out. Of course she was the best. Every time. I'm sure she did. She's perfect. Because Kate Kane doesn't waver. She did more for this school than anyone who's ever gone here. Okay. What? So you can Why? scrub her name from what? every. So you can scrub her name from every plaque and banner and roster, but you will never erase her. Okay. Good. That's Who the good for fuck? Since when was that. she that's this incredible person that changed the school you. forever? What the fuck? Emotional flashback time. Time also, I'm not there in the fields with you this time. Anything. My wife's here, though. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize this was an open forum. But the thing about complicated is we handle it better than anyone I know. Fuck you. Kate you literally lied to me that our daughter was dead. <laughs> you just you foul, <laughs> so full of foul harpy on the wall. But if you forget about that, oh, she's totally to afraid. Sell for that. I like how Jacob hasn't had a mental breakdown. His yeah. daughter is a fat woman. His daughter is alive. The villain and hero of this city are both his daughters. One of them he thought dead. Like, what the hell? What if you need to light something that you don't want to point your gun at? What then? Music though. Bum, bum, bum. What? Know, right, what? Here, you pointed a gun right at her. She put the gun. A ago, what if you have to light something up you don't want to point your gun at? <laughs> I like the bad woman slowly move the gun away from it. Like, please stop pointing yeah, that at me. Actually, point that at me. You know, now's a good time for a moment. Mm -hmm. Kate, I can't lose you. The hell is going on? Oh, it's British girl. I was about to ask you the same uh. thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> What? Wait, was that the Batwoman killing weapon? It was the Batwoman killing weapon. <laughs> but it didn't- I'm assuming it didn't kill it because fucking hell, that would've been awkward. They just turn up and they've got her now. Bring her to me. Wow. What? Uh, What's happening? He was just standing there while the crow's like- right. Ah! What, what? No, you can't just go okay. and do that. Okay, what we gotta- doing? stop, 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 there's too okay, much. Stop, too stop, much, stop. too much at the same so time. I'm- I'm actually like- legit confused what the fuck is happening. Okay, yes. start right from the beginning. So they've come up with a plan. British girl is going to dress up as Batwoman to convince Thingy that Batwoman is not Kate Kane. I understand that. Uh, unfortunately for them, they decided to do this at the same time as they're looking for the assassin with a Batwoman killing gun. Yeah, like, this that... is probably not the time and place for that. Worst this is actually timing. About the worst possible yeah. place. There's someone in the building with the super secret Bat person killing gun and you're gonna go in there with someone else as bat. So like, first of all, oh there's another reason why this. What the fuck was Kate doing there? You know what I mean? Like from Sophie's perspective, yeah. like why are you here? Like, why what? are you here? How are you here, Kate? But I think I was gonna say it would work anyway because Sophie should be fully aware of their fucking chins. Like <laughs> she should be I like. Know. Also, if if she <clears throat> if her idea here is to ensure that Jacob thinks someone else is Batwoman, then just have Batwoman show up at Crow's HQ and be like, hey, I think we should work together, or whatever. And he could just mm -hmm. hear her voice. Or have Batwoman just show up at his house and talk to him as not Bat- as not Kate Kane. Have- have Brit Lady, have her show up in the bat suit and be like- options. There were so many uh, better ways to do this, and the reason they did it this way is so that Batwoman, not, not Batwoman, could get shot by the bat gun <laughs> that didn't kill her. You even yeah. have a shot of him looking at the gun like, why did that kill her? Which, by the way, I think that's gonna be a reveal that Alice gave him the wrong ammo or something. He gave her, like, a little capsule or whatever, like, the little thing. Remember she held it up? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, McMuffin, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> McMuffin. I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna be like or whatever. But that's another thing we we got to worry about. But what a fucking clip! And, and then we've got KK grabbing Sophie's pistol, and she says, "I'm gonna go get her." A loaded gun. <laughs> like, what are you doing, KK? Here, give me that. Give me that. <laughs> Let's go assault the crows <laughs> with a pistol. I, what is? What actually is her plan? You don't have an outfit. You look like Kate Kane. If you uh, do anything and they see you, they'll know it's Kate. Kind of what we were highlighting at the beginning of the episode with all of these different things with law, chemistry, science. And, and security and all this other stuff. There's barely any of that in this. This is mainly just Kate is an idiot. That's pretty much what we're dealing with in this episode, which is kind of why it sort of ranks lower on the... Because nothing ridiculous has happened, but we still got 10 minutes left, so... Like, who knows? <laughs> I, I would have just loved if she was like, you know, hello, Sophie, as, as Batwoman, and then it's just like, you're not Batwoman. Fucking <laughs> Crimson Chin is very different from <laughs> British Chin. Crimson Chin? <laughs>
<laughs> also, Fringy, you never apologized for Ruby Rose. Oh, right. Wait, what? Ruby Rose is Australian. Sorry. Which explains, I think, the double whammy <laughs> of she's trying to do an American accent while not being a particularly talented actress, and so it just, she keeps having these, like, I want to highlight that one oh, delivery she had outside the restaurant. It was, like, super yeah, was bad. bad. I want to play it right now for people again. That's what it looks like when it comes out naturally. There you go, that was it. <laughs> right <now. laughs> Most past episode so far. Good job. Sure. These cuts make it very hard to understand what the fuck's happening. It's yeah. terrible. Oh look, it's not raining again. Yeah. I was gonna say the weather, the weather's changing between shots. They do not give a fucking shit about this. No. They just don't care. Yeah. No escort for the. All right, can't wait to see what the plan is here. <laughs> Me too. I'm thrilled. What? Don't shoot. What are you? Don't... Oh, remember they established her as a sharpshooter. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. No, dude! Oh my god. Dude! Oh, dude. Holy Jesus shit. Christ! Batwoman, what the fuck? Uh. Oh. Uh. They're wow. all way Not bigger. Also, again. the fucking music is again. Wow, it's a oh good thing god. that this little. The bigger wow, have body armor, nice. she's wearing a fucking leather jacket and a helmet. I, I can't believe all of that just happened. You said and it's over. Would penetrate the suit. You didn't just play me, you played her. Sophia's gonna be pissed with me. Don't you ever say her name in front of me. Who? No, show, I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah I know, she fucked me. Here! Here, you retarded people! That's what <laughs> happens. See, dear sister. There isn't anything I wouldn't do to protect you. Yeah, 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 okay. This deal makes no fucking sense. I'm livid the rifle got away. Broken ribs from our little ruse aren't helping either. Take her to the Broken ribs? Hospital. You have broken ribs? Just take her to Barry's magical place of healing. They didn't even take her to the shitty hospital. They just took just her to go nowhere. To, just, <laughs> go to an actual hospital and just say, yeah, I had a really I nasty fall or I, ex I had an accident. I broke my rib. Heal me. She's not no, dude, they've wrapped a thing around her. There you go. That's crash the party. That's I've chest. got ice. Press this <laughs> on your broken ribs. Press this on your broken ribs. <laughs> <laughs> wish, which means I'm on a one-way flight to Santorini. Just oh. Don't get yourself like killed. Apart from my father. No. And Lucius, of course. Don't say something stupid. Bruce Wayne never trusted a soul. What about Robin? When yeah. you don't trust anyone. Yeah. When you don't trust anyone, it means that you can disappear for four years. I don't think that's a good thing. That no, good. that's very good. It protects people. It's good that you have the ability to disappear if you need to. And it Especially in his position. Are important. No, go away! Nice Stop dance. it! <laughs> Gotham Pride, Gotham Pride Real Estate's first acquisition. Oh, catchy name. Real estate oh, thing. You bought oh, it this is the real estate thing. Okay. So, what, how did you buy this? Out a crow's van with a 50 meter precision shot. Got the with a pistol. That with a fucking pistol. On a fuck She's off. God, I get it. She's John Wick God. can't even do that shit. To celebrate. Also, those guards. They're gonna say, yeah, uh, this person, this this woman showed up with. Kate Kane's motorcycle helmet on Kate Kane's motorcycle <laughs> and she beat the shit out of us is really weird. As hard as I have tried to get over you, I can't. Yeah, we got that. Actually, I I think you were right six years ago and maybe it's best if I keep my distance from now on. Well, let's think the show, that's I what's correct, but the show is like, oh no, but Kate, you don't really be that. You well, the, the sh that. yeah, the fans of the show will be like, no, these two should be together. Fuck Jake, fuck, what's the, Tyler, that's it. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. Kill me. Now that you, be the yeah, it's gonna be your battle. You're such a good fucking shot. You're better even when you're fucking. Drunk, I love that they establish she's an incredible shot in the first episode. She needs to make an incredible shot. Like, <laughs> excellent job. Oh look! Oh at look! Oh, she's at the game. <laughs> oh, it's across the street from Anti Gay Man. Turn this joint into a gay bar. Obviously, I'm running point on design. Why? You have, have no idea what in. the fuck you're doing. Even if it's just one You don't have time, you have to run a hospital. No. Nope. Go to school. Running point on design. My lead on cart right upstate was a dead end. <clears throat> Waste of a couple of days. Worth a shot. Oh, it's Skin Man. Yeah. Daddy. Make a cut, there you go. Catherine seems to think so. I guess it was him for the whole episode. And if you drink much from a bottle marked poison, poison. sooner or later. I guess. It's just, just poison. poison? 
You did all that to just get poison? My dear you can make that shit in your bathtub. We need to be in our prime. <laughs> the most memorable, mad tea party. party. Yeah. Gotham has ever seen. <laughs> I'm crazy again. <laughs> oh, look at it go. So, oh. the real Jacob so just to clarify, Jacob went on some kind of lead, He because he was talking to Kate. He was like, Kate, I followed a lead. Apparently when he did that, they replaced him in the office with a different Jacob? How did nobody know what, this? How does he know how to run the organization? Well, like, no, no, no like, be like, before that, he's told people he's gone on an assignment. Yeah. So when he's turning up at the office, would they be like, hey, sir, how was the assignment, I guess? I guess he, just, he was just like, oh, I came back, lol. And when he gets and then, back... This isn't something that you can keep. Like, this is dumb because when he comes back, then he's going to learn that there was apparently a double of him still in the office and everything. Yeah, so um, they're going to find out that there's a double. Yeah, this is not... What did they... What did Alice and co. get out of this? Because they're stopping it now. Yeah, I guess they got... He, he said, like, he's back in Catherine's good graces? I guess they're both friendly now he wanted to get Catherine and the husband to not divorce but why is but as soon as he gets back <laughs> it's just gonna be like yeah, but they are gonna divorce divorced. because that's not the real him yeah his Holy opinion shit. will not have changed so um Mola was saying before that this was the best episode. I don't agree anymore with that this is the worst ep uh, no what the fuck are you talking about this is the worst this is the worst. <laughs> no fucking worst. way. This is the worst. No the worst, fucking way this is the yes, worst. Yes, it is. This is definitely the worst. This is not even close. This one's like, probably the third best, maybe? This is the worst. It's no way. <laughs> There's no fucking- what is your argument for how this is the worst? It's nonsense. We had to pause this one, what, twice? Three times, yeah, but the thing is, we've- we've- we've not paused other episodes when we probably should have. But we did pause this one three times. True, but we could have paused a lot of episodes a lot of times. I think that the- that's not an argument. It can't just be that we pause. Everything, everything <laughs> is. About, yeah. Well, here's the thing. We're comparing one show where everything's terrible to another show where everything's terrible. No, I know, but there are degrees of terrible. This I one. I think that the degrees of terrible on this one are. I that on, bad. honestly, I, I pretty much. There's only a couple of major like that's impossible issues. Most of it is characters being stupid. I think. Like I the think. the shot from the motorbike. That's insane. Um, yeah. The fact that the reveal at the end makes absolutely no sense. That whole plot line literally means nothing. Well, the no, technically speaking, it can actually function. It's insane. just really stupid. I don't see what they achieve with this, and it's going to fall apart as soon as he gets back. Well, I know, but the show wants to make it like it's a thing, and they're really playing yeah, it Yeah, I know, I know, then, gee, but it's not Batwoman as much of a problem as what we've dealt what? with in other episodes. Batwoman lets the rifle go twice in this episode. Yeah? And it's in line with like the character. The parking lot scene. <laughs> she, that woman essentially is go, trying to protect a person. That person dies. The assassin gets away. She doesn't give a fuck. And she yeah, yeah, I agree. kindles her friendship with somebody else as the as all of this stuff. At this point, I have to re remind you of the other episodes, I guess, because that's that's not even close to as bad as other shit has happened in this season. It's I don't, I don't bad. know. I I feel like they're in, and plus the the moralizing gay thing yeah again it's the, the surface level really it's like what are we gonna say the people who don't like gay people don't exist they do it's just that it was really contrived so where where what is the worst episode i would uh, probably five. yeah five was probably the worst yeah yeah complete was that? Was that the mouse backstory, backstory. yeah and then a, a shit um, ton of insane nonsensical things happen in terms of like explosions or events and stuff like that this one like i i i, I don't know like, a, a lot of it makes sense it's just really silly like the, for example batwoman fucking flipping that car it would be like what an insane thing that's happened but it's like well k kane's an asshole yeah but she does it using her helmet and her motorcycle in front of the guards well no i'm talking about the flip the fight itself i think is impossible for it to have actually won that's a oh, yeah another... they, they clearly just don't shoot the person assaulting them yeah they... it's just uh, it, it's just another an, uh, another bullet point in the list of Kate Kane is an awful superhero, if she could even classify at this point. <laughs> but like, that should have given her away entirely 100%. Oh yeah, that, not to, you know, as you highlighted, she's using a motorbike, but again, we've had that before. She's fucking, like, blatantly riding that thing all ar around town while dressed as Batwoman for some reason. This just never seems to, like, that's not new is what I'm saying. Also, using yeah, Sophie's but has she gun. Yeah, done it while, assault while assaulting Crow's security people? Uh, no, no. So, I think that adds an element to it. The fact that she is openly assaulting 
pro security guys. Sure, but again, we've got episodes where she's defibrillated back to life while the police are around her and she just escapes. Like, well, metal, Fringy, what do you think? Where does this episode rank for you guys? Man, like, it's still agree, bad. Like, third best, like you said, pretty much. Well, they're, they're just, I mean, they're just being stupid, but it's not like plot holy. The thing is, like, episode five was really bad. Episode three was really bad. Those are like two by far like the worst episodes. And then I think it was two, one in ascending order, and then four, and or maybe this one. Yeah, Magpie and Executioner. They were two that were kind of similar in terms of their badness. And then th this one, Magpie and Executioner. They're my three for like trying to figure out which one's the best. Because fucking hell, you just reminded me of the Elliot episode. That one was fucking terrible. <laughs> With the elevators. Like, yeah, Rags, when you talk about, like, worst episodes, the fucking elevator episode, that one is filled uh, with tism. I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I'll say subjectively, this is the worst one. Okay. In terms of the way the show uh, tries to portray its messages and how insanely inconsistent and stupid and unreasonable all the characters are and how the plans make yeah. no sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. That seems to be a mainstay. The plot will never make sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we, we've got that going for us. Like, At least they're consistent this, with that one. But I just think that in this one, the characters just... Be, like, it's not just a character or two. It's like, basically, every single person is just, like, unbelievable. I oh. believe Kate Kane. <laughs> She's that much of an asshole. <laughs> She just decided to chase us like a SWAT van on a motorcycle with a pistol <laughs> to s fucking rescue Batwoman. It's so insane. And it works. I can't believe she flipped that van. So <laughs> fucking reckless. Man, what a great hero. <laughs> has, has, so, just to be clear, has Batwoman actually brought anybody into custody yet? I guess Magpie. Oh, yeah, yeah that counts. But Executioner yeah, died. Uh, Elliot. <laughs> what happened to Elliot? He knocked out? Yeah, Alice knocked him out. We didn't. Alice has uh, actually captured as many villains as Batwoman in this season so far. <laughs> <That's> fantastic. <laughs> So to clarify that, Alice in this episode, she has the gun, and she wants Mouse and this assassin guy to kill all of the people who can repair slash make the gun, and in exchange she will give him the gun to kill Batwoman. Yes. But, but she will she dismantle doesn't... the gun to a degree that it cannot kill Batwoman anymore. Yeah. Um, all but right. it still works. It's just not as deadly. That's the part that makes it deadly. The other part just makes it an inconvenience laser. Which, by the way, the place that he was assassinating the guy from is so hilarious. He was just, hilarious. He was on he was a just right there. He adjacent was like car. He's like <laughs> pointing a gun at him. When Batwoman arrives, she's just like, oh, there it is. There it's happening right there. That's all going on. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't know why British lady was even in this outside of having an excuse to have the scene where she why has a, she... a Batwoman and a not Batwoman, you know? Why was she even there? I, she was hunting the guy. Leave? Yeah, yeah. The thing why? was assassin guy. She apparently that she's been hunting him for a while. That's why she leaves at the end because he's right. leaving. So the Asian man he gets killed while those two are talking, and the assassin escapes. That just boggles my mind. And the plan was so Alice could just get poisoned. Yeah, which by the way, maybe she's being funny about that. Like it's it's not actually maybe it's more than that. But right now, if it's just poison, what the hell was all this for? Yeah, if that does just turn out to be poison, that's ridiculous you could but, go to the store and buy rat poison and it kills people i just i think yeah. i think you might be right though about the whole so let's just assume for a second alice's plan is actually that she wants to get rid of any batwoman killing guns because she likes batwoman so what she does is have the gun stolen kill everybody who can repair slash make the gun and then make it look as if she was trying to kill batwoman while getting the gun out of the city because that guy takes it with him i think that's what the show's going for right she took on a lot of risks to protect batwoman because that assassin yeah. guy could have killed him Mouse could have found out about any of this along the way, assuming she's trying to trick him. A normal person could shoot her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling she's going to kill Mouse by the end of this season. What were we talking about before this episode? Schrodinger's gang? <laughs> Schrodinger, Schrodinger's gang. <laughs> also, uh, the message being, it's not good to be isolated. You should have people to be friends with, I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, yeah, also, okay. does she not care about Dodson anymore? <laughs> <laughs> like, has, has she forgot Dude. that he exists? Don't even like, fucking go to Dodson. <laughs> like, we can't... <laughs>
I'm, I, like... dude, we're gonna have an episode if he if he turns up again. It would be so fucking funny if he's gone forever because we'll forget him. But um, <laughs> if he turns up in a prison cell and Jacob goes to talk to him about all this, be like, oh, he was captured. Okay, or he's just gonna turn up in Alice's crew at one point. We'll be like, oh, I guess yeah, there he is. Okay, that's all it's gonna be because fuck knows what's going on with Dodgson. Dodgson's our favorite character show. Get him back. <laughs> Do you remember when he picked? He was picked up by Jacob, and he just spills out his exposition for why he's a person that he is in like a sentence. The crows just protect the rich, and I hate that. <laughs> Not to mention the whole yeah, like they're really pushing this whole like she stood up for herself in the army. It's like it was a week, and it yeah, would have set their fucking... careers forever. I know, I understand the principle. Like you shouldn't be okay with being suppressed as the gay. But as far as I was aware, it's not like the army says that you're not allowed to be gay and in the army. It's that you shouldn't be fucking people while you're in the army. Yeah, you shouldn't be fraternizing with other people while you're but in school. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Gotham is like that much of an asshole. <laughs> I don't know. Like they, or wherever they, uh, what do they say? Point Rock. Uh, maybe they. They're like, unless you sign this document that says you're not a gay, then you cannot stay here. But even still, I'd be, if let's just say we were in an institution that said you cannot be straight, uh, and you uh, to to fucking uh, get your um, the ceremony completed and stuff, I'd probably be like, yeah, okay, I'm gay. Yeah, I'm sure. a big old just gay. Give me my diploma and set me up for life. Uh, and then as soon as I've got it, I'll be like, by the way, I was straight the whole time. Lol, 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 lol. <laughs> Just run yeah. away. Well, yeah, what are they, they can't revoke your credential. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, yeah. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs> My mom calls gays degenerate sinners. Oh, my God. What'd you bring me? <laughs> List.